Hello everyone. So today I'm trying like to replace uh, accumulator in the Nest doorbell, and I would say that it's a waste of time because like the assembly is over complicated. Uh, I had to remove this top panel by cutting it off, and I, I'm following instructions on the iFixit website, as you may see, and their model a little bit different, but still, like, mostly the same. And you see this foam, which uh, keeps this panel and requires to be glued, right? Then next, I had to remove these four tiny screws, those uh, Phillips screws, as you may see, more light and it was not a big deal then like to remove like to split it into two parts again you see everything inside is glued and it was pretty hard to do but I, I like, applied diligence and some force then like battery is glued I I have it disconnected and here it comes the difference. So that's, I believe, temperature sensor, which glue it to this battery and I cannot pull it out. So it, it just like, splits apart. I tried like uh, isopropyl, it don't dissolve this glue. So uh, I'm not sure if I would be able to revive back this doorbell. It's been like five years now. Yeah, this is a leather strip. Ah. So, if you're thinking about replacing, I would... <laughs> uh, about replacing battery, I would recommend you go just and replace the doorbell. Because it's just like uh, modern designs. I hate how they do it. As you may see, everything relies on glue heavily and technically not repairable all right and it's pretty because it has pretty good camera wi-fi module not wi-fi it has some specific module which connects to the intermediate device and then connects to wi-fi over it microphone speaker so lots of good parts but it's it will highly probably would be just waste all right, we'll see. See you soon. Okay, guys, after all, it started. Camera works, doorbell works, and battery works. Surprise, surprise. And it keeps a video stream while I, I'm ringing. I just check it up. So I would count it a successful replacement. Now I have to install screws back and glue the old panel on top. It may take some time, but uh, again, I'm not happy how they implemented it. I understand it should be weather strip resistant, like so exclude water to get in out, getting in. But uh, after all, they could just have the complete front panel and back panel on the screws, which is removable and it would be simpler design than that. All right, see you, bye-bye.